Hey guys, Beaver here. It is the day after a super soft day of MagFed at the compound and I just, I was thinking over the events of yesterday, reflecting a little bit. Uh, Mag had asked me how it went, how I liked it, how the field was. So I just felt like uh, after giving her an answer, I should probably make a video because I didn't really think about it as deep as I did until that point. Um, firstly, I want to say I loved it. Loved the field. It is a massive, massive, massive play space. Way bigger than I thought it was going to be. And it was built up way more than I thought it was going to be since the last video we did back in March when we did our field tour. Um, the complexity level of this map is insane. Uh, I was put in charge of squads a few times through the day and trying to make sure the men stayed on point to some of us were engaging, others were watching the forest line because we kept being flanked from the forest or flanked from the town or flanked from here or there. They could swing so deep, far, all the way around behind us just trying to watch our backs as we moved. It was very difficult. Um, Especially for me, you guys know, I pride myself on being a decent gunfighter. Uh, I'm pretty good as a leader, tactician, and it put me to the test way beyond any other field I've ever played before. If you ever get a chance to play at the compound, take it. You gotta book a flight, you gotta do a long drive to get there. Just, you gotta play it at least once. At this point, after yesterday, I am wanting to figure out a time and a day where I can go there with my marker by myself and just walk the field for hours by myself. Because trying to, on the fly, find angles where I could make shots, see where they were coming from, keep an eye on where they could be coming from, it was so difficult. I think I fired maybe, maybe four, maybe five CF-20 mags the entire day. I use less than a bag of first strikes and as a lot of you guys know, I shoot like five to six hundred first strikes for a regular big game. That It was so tough and just trying to lead a little squad of six, seven, I think at one point I had twelve guys with me, trying to lead them to victory uh, while well, I felt like I was just lost on the field through the whole day. It was tough, but it was phenomenal. Uh, we also had the heat on top of it. It was like 30 degrees, probably 32 to 5, 35 in the later of the day uh, with humidity. It was hot. It was challenging. I haven't been challenged like that since maybe the first time I played PRZ and never again after. But I think this field will continue to challenge anyone as a player out there because there's just so many angles and it's built so differently than anything we have ever played before. And I just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to everyone in the community, the airsoft community that helped build that facility. Uh, Mike and uh, Monty, I think. Yeah, Monty, uh, thank you guys for starting it and putting it all together and letting us come out and play. I know I'm definitely, I don't know what games I would host there, but I'm definitely going to reach out and get a couple dates to make sure we do have some paintball events there next year. And I just want to say, like, when they say it's 200 acres of play space, you don't realize how much play space that is. It is like five times bigger than PRZ. And it just goes and goes and goes. And when you think you're, there was a couple points through the day. I was like, oh yeah, we cut through here, we're gonna be at the trailer park, we cut through there and we're like, oh, we're just at the other end of the town because we got turned around at some point and we gotta cut back this way and we cut back this way and then we're not at the trailer park again. We, it was difficult, but it was awesome. I got to ride in the war wagon. We got, uh, we found a little truck or a little helicopter and that was our tactical insertion so I got to ride in the war wagon. I'm going to be having a vlog come out soon, probably tomorrow, maybe the next day and just outline everything, uh, like just outline the day, the travel there. You'll see how exhausted, you could probably see how exhausted I still am right now. Uh, I definitely had a bit of heat exhaustion from yesterday. I'm feeling it still. I've been drinking, having protein shakes and that, get electrolyte drinks just to keep myself going. I probably drank four liters of water and electrolytes and I just 
still felt drained through the drive home. Uh, so next year, there's going to be more paintball events there. I'm going to make sure to get at least a couple of the dates there. Tom and I were talking about getting the raid series there. We just got to tweak it and figure it out so it'll work because we are a bit of a smaller game, but we could definitely up the numbers to make sure that we cover enough of the field. Uh, I got a map of the field here. Oh, you can't see it. Oh my goodness. It's so blown out. Oh, there we go. It's so blown out. Um, but I'm going to post that up too, uh, on a, on a future post just so you guys can see it. But overall, if you get a chance to play the compound next year, play it. Don't miss an opportunity to get there. Uh, I'm going to try and get there. I debated sleeping in my truck to wake up today and do a field tour and then come home. But, uh, by the end of the day, I was, I was feeling it. So I just wanted to get home, have a shower go to sleep that's exactly what I did I didn't unload a thing last night except for fruits and stuff that I brought with me I unloaded the cooler so it didn't go bad <sighs> more to come stay tuned uh, vlog will be coming out in a couple days and I got some more surprises coming for Outlander so I'll see you guys there